Hi everyone, I'm Tori Freeman, a parent educator at the Center for Children and Youth. A topic that seems to be gaining a lot of momentum in the parent community is the idea of forming a micropod or homeschool pod. Some people even refer to them as their bubble or a quarantine. These pods are often made up of a few families who hope to share academic and socialization tasks with one another. Many schools recently announced that they will start the academic year in full-time distance learning mode. So today's tip is about things to consider when forming a pod. When it comes to parenting, various strategies work great for some families and not great for others. When I'm working with families, I try to help them figure out what will be best for them. And right now, the balance between mental health and public health needs to be addressed. When thinking about forming these pods, there are both pros and cons. Is it right for your family to create a pod? And if so, what things do you need to consider so that you keep your family safe while meeting everyone's needs? First, it's important to figure out what your goal is when forming a pod with one or more families. Is this pod mainly for academic purposes? Are you planning to hire a teacher or a tutor to facilitate academic learning amongst a small group of children? Or is this pod mainly for socializing purposes? Maybe you're planning to follow the distance learning curriculum that your school is providing, but you're wanting a fixed group of children for your kids to socialize with. What safety rules and behaviors will you all share, and how will you establish trust and open communication within your group? There are so many things to consider when forming a multifamily pod. If you want to connect with one of our consultants to talk more about making a school decision that works best for your family, please reach out to us here at the Center for Children and Youth. We are here for you.